Well, hello. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm doing pretty good today. Question for the cards is I want to take a look at the Bob Menendez uh, corruption trial, which they started jury selection this week. Bob Menendez is Democratic Senator for New Jersey, although he is not uh, running in this upcoming election because, well, he has to deal with the corruption trial in which he is accused of using the influence of his office for um, basically influence peddling is what we would call it in Canada. He was, he and his wife have been recipients of many, many gifts like uh, Mercedes Benz, his and hers. They found half a million dollars in cash and a whole whack of gold bars in their house. And apparently they have been involved with some Egyptian businessman about, you know, kind of cornering the halal meat market in the United States. And certainly having a senator in your pocket would be useful when you're trying to navigate this stuff. And if it was legit senatorial assistance to a businessman, even if it wasn't in his district, you would, uh, yeah, that's kind of normal course of helping business people and constituents navigate government and government regulations. So yeah, that'd be kind of normal, but no, paying his wife thousands and thousands of dollars and paying him thousands and thousands of dollars and all kinds of like gold bars in the house and gifts of Mercedes fans etc. Now one of the uh, people that have also been accused is pled, pled guilty and will be testifying against Senator Menendez. Also uh, <laughs> Senator Menen Menendez uh, defense so far that has been floated is that his wife did it. She was the one that was responsible for all of it. Kind of, you know, threw her under the bus to save himself. Yeah, no comment on that. So, I just want to take a look at this. Um, kind of see where it's going. Where, like I said, we're in opening days of it because uh, they're still selecting the jury right now. But, uh... Senator Menendez's trial is underway. His wife has been postponed. She is seriously ill. She was given a quite serious cancer diagnosis. And uh, there'll be some time before she is taken to trial, if she's taken to trial, on this matter. Deck being used today, Mystic Monday Tarot by Grace Duong. It's a deck I haven't used a lot, but... It's nice. I like the I like the uh, colors in it, and I kind of like the representation on it. So, time to take it out, blow the dust off, as they say. Just going to do our standard Celtic cross and see what kind of energy is floating around this Bob Menendez corruption trial. First card that we have up is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is a card about negativity and restriction. It's about being helpless, but helpless due to your own actions and a real victim mentality. Well, of course he's a victim. His wife did it to him. And we have in the cross position, we have the Hierophant and it's in a reverse position. And this is going against the established order, uh, traditions, room rules, norms. Um, so this is kind of rebellion, seeking your personal beliefs over and above the, the rules and the institution and uh, kind of going from there. In the past, we have the King of Wands and he's in a reverse position. King of Wands, when is reversed, hot tempered and ineffective, right? So, yeah, he might have been a senator, but I don't think he was a particularly good one, uh, you know, conducting America's business. Apparently, very successful at corruption. And although I do hasten to add that he has not been convicted and all parties are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 
The other thing I like to add is that when you come for the king, you better not miss. So if there's sufficient evidence for them to take on a sitting senator for the United States, yeah, they got one pile of evidence to go with it. In the near future, we have the lovers. This is a card that's about sexuality, often an attraction, but it's about relationships and the kind of choices that we make around relationships. Well, obviously, his relationship with his wife is very important to him. And perhaps he was doing this to keep her happy, but I don't think this was her entire idea. I mean, they found crazy amount of money, like $100,000 U.S. currency, sewn into the lining of his coat. Yeah, she didn't just stash it there. Um, in the sky of the reading, the overall, uh, goals, if you will, objectives of the reading, where we're going with this thing, we have the two of pentacles. It's in a reverse position, overextension, and the situation is fluctuating. Well, yeah, it is. We have, uh, one of his people that has been charged with him, co-defendant, if you will, although they're being tried separately, is his wife. And it's just somebody, obviously, that he has a love relationship with. And whether he's trying to protect her or not, he means to be seen, or if he's throwing her under the bus in order to protect himself, or maybe this is something that the two of them have got together to protect him because she knows that she's in trouble. In the foundation of the reading, the underlying energy, that kind of what's supporting this, what gives it its bones, if you will. We have the Seven of Swords, and it's in a reverse position. This is a card about confessions and secrets, which tells me he ain't telling the truth. This is uh, this my wife made me do it. It's complete cockamamie, and he's right up to his eyeballs, which is kind of a shame because uh, if you're a senator in the United States, you have every opportunity in the world to milk the system and play the grift and the graft legally, right? These people are involved in insider trading like no tomorrow and their spouses are involved in insider trading and it's all kosher. That's another rant for another day. Message from Spirit. We have the Magician. Magicians about manifestation and success. And of course, he has been very successful because he's got a closet full of gold bars and he has clothes that are lined with hundreds of thousands of dollars. And he has used his resourcefulness, being his access to power, um, in order to achieve this. And he has done this deliberately. This is not an accident. He didn't accidentally get a Mercedes Benz, right? So this is things that he has willed, his resources, which is his access to power, has been utilized in order to make him successful. And ma <laughs> Magician is going, yeah, we know what you did. We know what you did. In the environment, Two of Swords. Two of Swords. This is a card that's about balance and contemplation. It's also about facing difficult decisions and trying to come to some degree of clarity about them. Well, I think his decision is to throw his sick wife under the bus and she's responsible for it in hope, I think, that she either won't be prosecuted because of her ill health or that, you know, mercy will be shown or just, you know, the whole idea of raising the about. I had no idea that she was selling my influence. Yeah. Hopes and fears. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles about collaboration and teamwork. And it's about people coming together for a common cause and aiming to keep Bob Menendez out of jail and um, consistently putting some effort into that. So, of course, he is. And again, I suggest that he is innocent in the eyes of the law until he is proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and adjudicated thereby, you know, 12 jurors of his peer but um yeah it's going to be uh, a lot of work ahead of him and we'll see how it's going um final outcome 
Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving of the night. He's hardworking and he's very methodical and he's very productive and he's grounded and very dependable and he just plods along. Now this is not Bob Mendes first trip to the rodeo. He was um, accused of this previously but they never managed to stick a conviction on him. So of course he went back and did the same thing again. I love these grifters. They just don't learn their lesson. Anyways, uh, I think he is guilty of all of that he has been accused of. But again, it remains once again for him to be convicted in a court of law. Because of course we are a nation of laws, not men, and no man is above law as they are struggling with right now in the United States to pry solidify. So yeah, it's uh, unfortunate for the Senate in the United States because the loss of a Democratic Senator could change the balance in the Senate, but this is a seat that would have come up for election previously. Later on, a little closer to election time, we're going to see if Andy Kim, who is trying to take the seat now uh, as the Democratic candidate, whether he's going to be successful or whether the Republicans will flip it over. But that's probably a couple of months out before I'm going to start checking that kind of energy. And shadow card. We have the Queen of Pentacles and she is in a reversed position. Queen of Pentacles, when she is reversed, is disorganized, motivated by materialism very, very greedy and barren of ideas, not a creative force. Everything is just kind of pushed over the brink. So my take on the reading, I think you can figure out is that I think, I think he is guilty as hell of what he's been accused of. We will see if that is turned into a conviction at a later point in time, but yeah. This is their second bite at the apple, right? Because he was acquitted or not charged. It's one or the other but on the previous investigation. So yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar that they have crossed the T's and they have dotted the I's and they've made sure that the P's and the Q's are straight because uh, yeah, the Justice Department, I suspect is something to prove that they are not just picking on Republicans, which seems to be the theme of the week. Anyways, that's the reading for today, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.